Yo, what's going on with you beautiful people? It's that time of the day again. 2017 score football. We're going to do four boxes of it. eBay style. Come with me. I know you want to. All right. Let's uh, move some stuff out of the way here. She already got my girl shaking it for you. Man. All right. And now, let's, uh, let's say a little prayer here. Good luck, everybody. Uh, SPE, though, these cards are actually uh, Jason's uh, personal collection. And who is Jason? It's the cardboard Jesus. That's who. But yeah, that's his stuff. Me, I have yet to uh, add anything to my collection. Smiley face. I mean, sad face. Not smiley face. What? Now, let's see what's in here. Oh, I forgot just how many cards were in this stuff. It's been a while, score football. It's been a while. So, people don't get bored of me just opening up packs. I'm going to go like half. Half and half. There it is. So who's all up in here from the YouTube side in this break? The ever wonderful kid reporter cards that everybody wants. Sports cards free got the since you got the Bengals? Trying to come up on some John Ross, huh? I see you. I see you. The Niner says SPE. There you go. Rep your team. Now, some of this stuff is going to be upside down. Let me, uh, there we go. It's a little better. And somebody's going to be right side up. I, you know, dang, I almost forgot how nice this stuff is. I do like the simple design of it. And then when you get some color. Look how it pops. To 50, Jordan Matthews of the Eagles. Boom. What's up, Robbie? Yeah, man, there's a lot of cards in this stuff. It's been a little while since I opened it up. But there's some nice autographs in this, too. Sounds good, Carnation. You know I'll be here. All right. Where are my autos? Uh, how many hits per box? Honestly, I don't know. Oh, well, there's four autos per box, if that's what you're asking. Which is, I'm pretty sure what you're asking. So 35, Kerry Hyder for the Lions. What is this? An auto? Negative. It's to 50, Charles Harris. Future Rookie of the Year for the Dolphins. Where is that autograph? You're lurking in here somewhere. You're uh, kind of in the way. Maybe the first autograph here. Yup, for the Steelers to 25. Nice. Cordell Stewart throwing it back right there. Steeler fans are well familiar with Cordell Stewart. Baller. All right, first auto. Not bad.
Mm, is this an autograph? It is, and it's a huge one, in my opinion. Not just because he plays for the University of Miami. Played. But he's a baller. He really is. Stacy Coley with an autograph. That's going to be a good card. Kid's a stud. Watch. Mark my words. All right. All right. What team? I don't know what team he plays for. I want to say he's a Viking. I think he's a Viking. Well, when they're in their college uniforms, uh, I kind of kind of don't know all of them. Gonna have to check at the checklist, which uh, it's gonna be kind of difficult for me to check while I do this. But I believe he's a Viking. What up, MCB? All right, let's see what we have. Thank you, Sports Card Freak. Now open it up. Hit Control F or Command F if you're on a Mac. And then when you see a player that you're not sure, help your boy out and be like, yo, he plays for such and such. Is this is an autograph? Oh, damn, that's a huge one. Mitch Trubisky. I know who he plays for. He plays for the Bears. That's a good one. 18 of 35. Dang, that's nice. So much so, it's got to get top loaded immediately. That's nice. Let me actually put Abraham uh, showcasing a little. Put this away. What up, Matt? How you doing, bro? So, Sports Card Freak, tell me if I'm right or not about the Stacy Coley. I said he was a Viking. I just want to see how much my how, how my knowledge is at, or where my knowledge is at, I should say. Brock Osweiler for the Texans, three out of ten. Although I think he plays for the Bears now, but this is a Texans hit. It's a Vikings, right? See, your boy be knowing. Matt Ryan for the Falcons to 35. Is this okay? This one's numbered Cole Hikutini, numbered to 50 from the University of Louisville. I can't lie, I have no idea what team he's on. Not even gonna lie. Thank God for the checklist. They traded for who to get a second round pick? The Cole is a 49er. They sports cards freak putting in work. Hashtag teamwork. Thank you, freak. So we got some Panini points there. Uh, I think it's only right that we random those off at the end.
I'm gonna combine all of them and just do it that way. So who you want to trade MCB? What are you talking about? There are the points 150. Boom. Let's do another box. So not a bad uh, first box. Got a Trubisky. Some uh, Panini points. A Cordell Stewart and a Stacy Coley auto. Solid box. If I do say so myself. That's what you have, SPE, Ravens, Raiders. Oh, so what, are you trying to trade me, MCB? I mean, I, I could use help at, uh, at wide receiver, I can't lie. Dalvin Cook is going to be decent, trust. That kid's a stud. I thought that was going to be something since it was upside down. I could use a wide receiver and a running back, but uh, I'm not too worried about my team. I'm, uh, I'm pretty solid. I might need to make a move or two in the future, but uh, that's in the future. So 250 points, Panini style. So that's probably going to take up the auto. I'm going to assume that's what happened in the last box. You got the top four locked up. Look at this guy. You're uh, you're just one injury away from uh, from last place, MCB. So don't don't get don't get too confident. Don't get too confident. Trust me, I've been there where I'm just absolutely dominating, and then I take a L. Julius Peppers at 35 for the Packers. Oh, Le'Veon Bell's gonna play. It's called the checklist, sports cards freak. Come on, dude. Get it together. What are you on today? Get it together, freak. Or maybe you should just... Are you sleep deprived or something? You had, a, you had a long night? A long night of Tinder dates? Like I know you like to do? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to blame it on that one. I'm going to blame it on that one. Ah, there you go. To 50, Ezekiel Ansa for the Lions. At that point, uh, Sports Cards Freak, uh, just don't hit enter after you type. Type and then immediately hit backspace until whatever you typed is gone. Because right now you're talking a little cray. You're talking a little cray. What is this? Uh, we should get an autograph out of here. I'm not sure if it'll be in this stack. Nope. All right. So next stack. Oh, McBapa, what are you on? You you must be on something else, dude. You must be on. More than a sports card freak over there. You must be that times in eclipse, dude. You you crazy for even considering to hit enter after you type that one. Ha! That was a uh, that that was a good joke. Thank you, Corey Clement for the University of Wisconsin. Uh, yet another player. I have no idea who he plays for. Thank God for the checklist, right, sports card freak. 
Alright. Let's keep going. I'll be honest. If it's a if it's a University of Miami player, chances are that I know what team he went to. Over or under for Blount touchdowns. I'm gonna put him under ten touchdowns for these for the season. Corey Clement plays for the Eagles. See, see, you see, freak, you that, you that dude. Hashtag you that dude. Or I should say hashtag that dude. We still have uh, what? Oh, well, six spots now since uh, Card Nation left for that immaculate two box banger. Forty eight bucks. Get you a spot in that one. Oh, I think Hill's gonna be over. If I'm being honest, I think he'll have more than 15 touchdowns. So, yes, over 10 touchdowns for Tyreek Hill. I understand he won't be uh, in special teams, but that dude is a weapon, man. You put that guy, you could put him in the slot, you could put him wide out, you could put him halfback. The guy's a playmaker. I think this is an auto here, maybe? Nope, but it's number 1 out of 20. And eBay 101, Jordan Matthews for the Eagles. If Gronkowski could stay healthy for me all year, which is probably not going to happen. I got Aaron Rodgers. Hopefully he can stay healthy all year. I think I'll be all right. I think I'll be all right. I know, McBaba. I know. I just, you know, you know me, man. I gotta, I gotta talk my shit. I gotta talk my shit. I'm gonna say this though, Dalvin Cook, if he can stay healthy, gonna ball out for the Vikings. Kid's a stud. Although I do like Leonard Fournette slightly more. Well, that's because he he was straight up red zone. But I for, I think they traded him, didn't they? Artavis Scott from Clemson with the autograph. I can't lie, don't know what team he plays for either. But uh, incoming sports cards freak with the knowledge. Watch Ryan. Don't sleep on Tyreek Hill. Alex Smith. Doesn't have to throw the bar 50 yards to 35, Cordray Tankersley. That's the beauty about, uh, I know he plays for the Dolphins. Dude, Alex Smith just needs to manage the game, limit turnovers. He could throw that ball five yards, get it to Tyree. Just get it in his hands, and then that man's going to do, you know, he's going to do work. You know, SPE, usually I would agree with that statement, but Dalvin Cook is from South Florida, so already baller. Fletcher Cox, Eagles. That, that's what we breed down here in South Florida. We, ble we breed DBs, linebackers, and skill positions, i.e. wide receivers and running backs. We don't produce quarterbacks, but we do produce just about everything else. It's all about speed down here, baby. It's all about speed down here. Chad Kelly from the University of Mississippi. Uh, yet another player I don't know what team he goes to Gators ill Gators are like the forgotten stepchild from Florida teams dude everybody knows the University of Miami reigns supreme at the very top after that I gotta give respect where it's due Seminoles and then I guess if you want to throw the Gators in there, listen, the best thing the Gators ever did was invent Gatorade. And that's it. Listen, let's let's be honest. Let's be honest. What have the Gators... Name me... Who, who was the best player the Gators ever produced? And I can name at least 10 UM players that are better. <laughs> I'm just saying. Tim Tebow? Okay, Evan Games. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Maybe if we were playing for like, you know, 
the all the all Jesus team, maybe. Maybe Tim Tebow at quarterback, but uh, let's be honest. No. <laughs> Well, listen, Ryan, if anybody that knows football knows that uh, the players that didn't have the grades were the best players. Therefore, felons are usually NFL talent. Well, listen, Deion Sanders went to Florida State, so there's that. Uh, Tim Tebow is a Gator, but nobody cares about him. Uh, Bo Jackson, I thought Bo Jackson went to like Alabama or something. Steve Sperrier, now you're just being funny. Emmett Smith, all right, I'll give you that one. Auburn, there's Aaron Hernandez. Uh, that's a Gator. That's a felon. There you go. So uh, where you at now, Gators fans? Because Ray Lewis was going to go to jail. But my boy beat the case, baby. That's what we do in Miami. We beat those cases, baby. Uh, can't say the same for the Gators, can you? Or what about that time Jameis Winston stole a lobster, yo? You ever hear about uh, any UM players stealing lobsters? No. No. Because they buy it for us, baby. That's what we do. We got boosters for that. We got boosters for that. That's why they hate on Miami. That's why they hate it. But I love the hate. Katie Cannon with the autograph for Baylor. I forget who he plays for, too, because it doesn't matter if it's not a UM player or a Dolphins player, true, if I'm being honest. The Fighting Irish, now, now. Okay, so since when did you become a comedian, Ryan? Catholics can't play football? Come on, son. Catholics versus convicts. Convicts all day. Thank you, Ryan and Freak. I see you guys dropping knowledge. Katie Cannon is a Ram, according to the uh, checklist, which uh, the boys are looking at. USF until you die? All right. Okay. Well, then again, who, who do they, they? I think they had a pretty good player. Like, one. Can't think of his name. I think it was a running back. So, 35, Ben Roethlisberger. I don't know why I thought David Johnson went to USF. Oh, that's a be actually Ryan. I can't lie. I've always wanted to get like if I was to get married, getting married in like one of those big old churches. That's probably pretty pimp. So shout outs to you, some green. Six out of six. My starting running back about to have a breakout season. Derrick Henry of the Titans, babe. That's that dude right there. Over 10 touchdowns for the season. Calling it. Calling it. But I want to see some autographs, though. Man, some of these cards are beat up. Who put those things in there, man? Well, when's the last time Notre Dame won? Before I was born, probably. I'm just, I'm just messing with you. Desmond King from Iowa with the auto. De the name sounds familiar, but I don't know who he plays for. <laughs> Rudy, right? That was the last time they won. Man, man. Was that before or after the Industrial Revolution? That's right. He is a king. I mean, a, the king is a charger. That's, yeah, thank you. I, I was going to say it, but I just didn't want to be wrong, so I just shut up. 1988? Well, that's... Well, dang. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's the year that they stole it. 
from the from UM. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're absolutely right, Ryan. Thank you for that reminder. I wasn't even born, but trust me. In the huh, that's listen, football is pretty much just ingrained in you when you're in South Florida. So trust me. I've heard all the old heads talk about the UM teams and the glory days and how crazy it was and blah blah blah. So yeah. I've also seen like all the 30 for 30 documentaries on the U, which, uh, by the way, I don't know too many universities uh, with two documentaries from ESPN on there. I'm just saying. Hassan Reddick, I know who he plays for, the Cardinals, to 35. Tell me I'm wrong, because I was actually really high on him. I was hoping he'd be a, a Dolphin, but no. No. Yeah, Miami used to be, from what I hear, a, you know, a private school, which was, you know, extremely, you know, clean cut, no problems, no nothing, until that dude, I forget his name, uh, Slockenbacher or whatever his name is, came through and just was like, you know what, we're going to take all the players from the inner city up until Palm Beach County, and we're going to turn this into the state of Miami. Look at this man right here. Brad Kaya, that's a line right there. That's a nice, that's a nice autograph right there. Low key, the most prepared for the pros right now, calling it. I would not be surprised if uh, the Lions quarterback goes down, and Kaya just picks up and uh, runs with it. J E T S suck suck suck, dude. I I love our division. We we have like equal amounts of hatred towards each other, but we can all agree Patriots suck. Can't we? Can we? Can we at least come to terms with that one? Eddie Lacy, ten out of fifty for the Packers. Buccaneers, they they I they I they I. Don't do it to them, sports cars freak. Don't do it to them. And you know what I hate the most is when you tell a, a Patriots fan like, "Yo, you guys are cheaters." They'd be like, "What? What are you talking about?" Like, come on, man. It's been proven you guys are cheaters. 6 out of 20. Lawrence Timmons for the Steelers, although he's a Dolphin now. All right, sports cards freak enough. Okay, Ra Ra, uh, I don't want to ban you, but any more sacrilegious talk like that will get you banned. I'm, I'm just saying. There will be no positive talk of the Patriots in this room. Zero. Well, Dwayne Johnson did play for the U. <laughs> Whatever, MCB. So we got Panini points here, 250 of them. So there goes that autograph. I'm just going to combine all the Panini points and random them off. <laughs> MCB, LOL. You 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 are on the jokes today, man. Exactly, Ryan Levy. Exactly. Except at least the Yankees buy their players. You know, you can say whatever you want about the Yankees, but they spend money to get their championships. The Patriots, they cheat for theirs. Nothing, MCB. He's one of the untouchables on my team. There's three untouchables. Aaron Rodgers, not trading him. Rob Gronkowski, not trading him. Tyreek Hill, not trading him. Dude, I could put Tyreek in the flex. I could put him at receiver. I could put him at running back. The man is so versatile. That man ain't going nowhere. He going to ride me to the... I'm going to ride him to the... Dude, my, my running backs suck. I can't even lie. 
My best running back would be uh, Derrick Henry. I have straight redemptions. <laughs> I have a redemption squad at uh, at wide receiver and running back. Dude, I drafted Jam uh, Jamal Charles, who plays for the Broncos now. I doubt he'll get any time, but I I'm just going off straight potential right now. Dang, Evan Games living the dream. Yeah, I think Derrick Henry's going to bust out this year, too. I think the same. He's still going to split touches with the uh, with DeMarco, but I think he showed flashes, enough flashes last year to warrant more touches. I think he'll be good. James Conner's solid for me, MCB. I think James Conner might be a sleeper. As a rookie, I think he's going to get some nice touches in the in that Pittsburgh backfield with Le'Veon, especially with that little situation they got going on out there. Uh, I think he's still holding out, right? Either way, he'll be a, he'll be a decent pickup. You know, whenever the Steelers play the Dolphins, I'll make sure to start James Conner because they're just gonna run all over us. You know, I may love my Dolphins, but I know exactly where we're weak at, and we cannot stop the run. Speaking of the run, Jonathan Stewart to ten for the Panthers. Well, that's true, McBabo. But again, I'm 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 not too worried at the moment. Who knows? Your boy your boy might just make a, a move here. And uh dude, I'm like one running back away from having a really sick squad. Like if Randall Cobb can like stay healthy, that boy gonna eat. Tyreek Hill, he gonna make it do what he do. The, the guy's just a stud. I think we can all agree to, on that one. Tyrell Williams, I don't know if he's still available, but he might. he's a sleeper that I'm looking at. Jakeem Grant, another sleeper I'm looking at. So I got, there, you know, there's some people on my radar. So you, you never know. Gerard Evans from Virginia Tech with an autograph. Again, I, I, I don't know who he plays for. Talk, tell tell it like it is, Ryan. Tell it like it is. David and Joku actually got a little hurt yesterday. Uh, he's on my team. I hope he's doing well. So Gerard Evans is an eagle, according to my boy. Is this an auto? Nope. To fifty, Alfred Morris of the Cowboys. What else we got going here? Deshaun Kaiser might be nice too. He'll probably get some playing time out there with the Browns. Let's see what's in this shit now. this an auto dang that's a big one five out of ten Luke Keekley for the Panthers one of the best linebackers in the entire NFL that's a good one that's a good one there you go Panthers nice hit right there that's nice stuff Not a bad four boxes so far. I mean, some decent names in this. Trubisky, Keekly, Coley, Kaya. Notice how I'm only naming some of those uh, human players. Ha <laughs> ha. What up, Brian? I'm assuming you have uh, the Cowboys in this. Name dropping the Emmett Smith on that. All right. 
right, let's find out. That's that boy right there. Thomas Rawls is also another running back that I have that I'm, I'm kind of hoping he'll uh, he can stay healthy. Another guy that could potentially be pretty be pretty big. I can't tell if these are autos. Joey Bosa, 35 for the Chargers. This is probably the auto. Nope, tampoco. Ryan Ramzisk to 10. 1 out of 10 for the University of Wisconsin. Don't know his pro team, unfortunately. My sorters will have the uh, checklist up, though, so they know exactly what team it goes to. Still no autographs until now, maybe? Think somebody want, I think somebody name-dropped this guy. There you go, Cooper Cup with the auto from the Eastern Washington University. So we need one more autograph. If I'm not mistaken. The Ryan goes to the Saints according to a sports card. The cup is a ram. Well, I, I I agree I agree MCB. I thought you know, well Cameron Sutton for Tennessee. Since I had the last and first pick in you know in the snake draft, I felt kind of comfortable, but I knew that I was going to be you know lacking in at least one position. Uh, but it turns out that both my wide receivers and running backs are, you know, just 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 a, a tad weak. You know, I'm like one huge player away from just mudding all of y'all. Let's see what else. Sutton is a stealer. My dude. If this is an auto. Charles Clay to 50 for the Bills. Let's see what else we got. And that is all? Yes, it is. All right, let's put this away so we can do the run back. Everything ships, SP. Everything ships. In eBay breaks, everything ships. All right, so before I do the run back, I do have to go ahead and do the uh, randomization for the Panini points. So it's a good thing I have my eBay list here, so I can just go and handle that. So I got two, 500, I have 750 Panini points. So let me grab all my players in this thing my players from the Himalayas kudos if you know where that's from get my list right in the minor drop it there boom it's dropped show it off so you know it's there let me roll my die real quick we're gonna go 10 times Top spot, we'll get Panini points in this eBay break. There it is. Good luck to everybody. And the money shot. Top spot gets Panini points. They'll be receiving... 750 penny points. Here you go. Good luck. And it will be going to Tim. Congrats, Tim, with the panini points. That'll be random off right there. 
Let me make a note of this before I forget. Done deal. Recap time. All right, so our autographs were Cameron Sutton, Cooper Cup, Gerard Evans, Brad Kaya, Desmond King, Katie Cannon, Chad Kelly, Arteva Scott, Corey Clement, Stacy Coley, Cordell Stewart to 25 for the Steelers, Luke Keekley to 10 for the Panthers, and Mitch Trubisky to 35 for the Bears. That was the run back, guys. That was 2017 score football, eBay style. Thank you very much. We'll get it out to you.